Welcome back. We are continuing with Module 5, Lesson 6, Problem Set. And now we're, we're moving on to uh, not just unit fractions, but uh, writing the fraction representing how much is shaded or not shaded, so recognizing those fractional units. So for this, let's read the directions. Complete the number sentence. So these are the number sentences right here. Estimate to partition, divide, each strip equally. Write the unit fraction inside each unit and shade the answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and letter A is three fourths. So we're gonna write the part that we're looking at. Okay, the top number is always the part and the bottom is always the number that makes up the whole. So four fourths makes up the whole. So we're gonna divide this one into fourths, and I know when I do fourths, I need three lines, right? It's what we need, the number of lines, it's one less than the parts we need. So let's do one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. And then we're gonna shade three, whoops, did my eraser instead of highlight. We're gonna shade three of those fourths. So one, two, three. You can shade them in completely if you want to. You can draw diagonal lines to show the shading, um, but we want to still be able to see those unit fractions, so don't shade them real dark. Next, we have three sevenths. So three is the part, sevenths makes up the whole, and this is a hard one to divide into sevenths. We need six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to get it the best that you can. Maybe if you start with the lines here, they kind of go in the middle of the fourths. And then we are going to shade three sevenths. Oops, we need to write our unit fractions first. Oh, Mrs. Gosher, follow directions. So one seventh uh, the whole way across. Each of those is one part of seven. Now we're going to shade three of those. Go ahead and do that. Now what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video and try to do letter C, which is four fifths and two sixths. So go ahead and pause the video and come on back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Hopefully you've done your shading, you divided them into four-fifths, divided letter C into fifths, shaded four of those fifths, and letter D shaded two-sixths. So make sure your work looks like mine, it's okay if your parts aren't exactly equal. I know it's really hard to do that, but do your very best. Let's take a look at number two. Number two says, Mr. Stevens bought eight liters of soda for a party. His guests drank one liter. Letter A says, what fraction of the soda did his guests drink? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a picture and I'm going to make it so that there are my liters. So I have one eighth. If I had eight liters, then one of these is one of the eight liters. And he said his guests drank one liter. They weren't very thirsty that day. So how much of the eight liters did they drink? What fraction of the soda did they drink? His guests drank one eighth liters. And if we want to do a little grammar, we can circle our noun, squiggly line the verb. Letter B says, what fraction of the soda was left? Well, if the guests 
drank this one eighth liter, this one liter. He had seven eighths liters left. Oops. Let's go to the back to number three. We're filling in another chart. And this is very similar to what we did before. We're talking about unit fraction and then the fraction part that is shaded, okay? So I'm actually gonna have you go ahead and we're gonna do letter A together and then I'm gonna have you do the rest on your own and come back and check it. So what we wanna do, these are equal parts, even though it might not look like a regular shape like a circle or a square or a rectangle, they're still equal parts so we can still represent it with a fraction. So let's count these parts in letter A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine total equal parts. How many of those are shaded? Go ahead and count them. There are five parts shaded. The unit fraction for just one of these squares would be one ninth because we have nine total equal parts. And the fraction that is shaded would be the number of shaded five parts out of nine are shaded, five ninths. Say it with me, five ninths. Let's do one more together and then I'm gonna have you do the rest on your own. Again, this letter B doesn't look like our regular divide a square, rectangle, or circle into parts, but they're still equal so we can use fractions. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts. If you want, you can start your fraction over here because we know the total number of equal parts always goes in the denominator in the bottom. How many parts are shaded? Three. Our unit fraction, remember unit means one. So it's one seventh and our fraction that is shaded is three sevenths. I'm gonna, uh, I want you to pause the video, go ahead and finish C, D, and E on your own, and then come on back. Welcome back everyone. Hopefully uh, you, the bottom of your chart looks like mine from C on. Take a moment to check your work. And then I want to go down to letter E, where we have eight of our parts shaded out of eight. Whenever we have that, we can see all of those parts are shaded. So this is equal to one whole. Eight eighths would be one whole. If I had six sixths, that would be one whole. If I came up here and shaded this in, I would have four fourths, and that would be equal to one whole as well. I know my one's a little squiggly there. All right, let's go, come on back and let's read these together. So as I highlight, I want you to read them with me. Three fourths, five ninths, three sevenths, four-fifths, two-sixths, eight-eighths equals one. Outstanding. You're gonna move on and do some homework problems on your own, and I can't wait to see them.